All right, YouTube, check this out. I'm at the house of a very good friend of mine. Wait till you see this. What up, Booba? Who's that, boy? That's my boy right there. <laughs> Let's do this, man. We're going to check out IFG's local fish store because it's a hell of a lot better than mine. Guys, I can't wait to see what's inside of here. Man, the selection in this LFS is freaking amazing. Looky there. Oh, my goodness. That's wild. That is a wild. Nice. Neons. I bet you that's a pain to clean. Super red. Oh, whoa. Just found it. Super red. A pistol grandma cockatoid. Wow. I love pistol grandmas. Look at that guy. Wow. You got to be kidding. Oh my goodness. I knew you was going to. That's why I bought you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. He does, but this is a little bit more This is exactly what my man IFG wanted me to see was these guys right here. Because chances are, I probably won't be leaving Houston without some of them. Oh man. Dude. Twenty nine bucks. You absolutely cannot go wrong here picking up fish, not with this selection and everything else that they have going on here. You cannot go wrong buying fish here. Uh all of their uh German blue rams look look pretty healthy. They all look pretty small. They're doing a bunch of sparring. You know, they're all acting normal. Uh, you know, I don't see a bunch of sunken bellies. Um, you know, it's not on a centralized watering system, which means if one tank gets sick, the rest of them don't get sick. This is the kind of LFS that, in my mind, has a whole lot of credibility. IFG is a lucky guy. I'm, I live in Oklahoma. He lives in Houston. It's about a six-hour drive. I want to try to stop by here tomorrow before I leave and go ahead and pick up a few biscuits uh, before I go and just take them on back with me. Uh, see what my wife thinks about that. Stay with me, guys. We'll see if she does. Okay, guys. So I'm walking out of here. Probably going to get killed by my wife. But this guy right here, he is a really good businessman. Knows an opportunity when he sees it, takes advantage of it, and it makes a lot of sense economically. Guys, this guy just made me a deal, super, worry. super deal. Okay? On five discus. I'm taking him home. I'm leaving Houston. My boy IFG, he's over there. Okay? I'm walking out of here with five discus. Got to have him, guys. All right. We're at the home of my homie, IFG. What's, What's up, up homie? What's up, D? What's up, everybody? Well, check it out, school. This is the tank that I did my latest video on, the Buck Two Tech. Nice, man. That's a beautifully skate tank right there. Yeah, so that is a beautifully skate tank. What man. I did, I was I just put like the Amazon swords. I put like these two branches in here, and then the uh, rock is actually a mountain stone, and I think there's a piece of dragon stone in there as well. This hang on back is uh, actually rated for like, uh, I think, I believe, a 75 or an 80 gallon. But this right here is actually a 40 gallon aquarium. 
So, um, yeah, that's the buck to the Texas. I have G just fed his Texas for me. Check this out, guys. Happy, healthy, hungry fish. Now, did you pick up the driftwood and the stones at the at, at your LFS that we just went to? So this stone right here in particular, I picked it up from 360 Aquatics. The wood, I picked it up from another LFS. Um, I believe it was uh, BB Fishing Pets. BB Fishing Pets. This is a real clean setup you got right here, and I like it. I mean, Appreciate this it. this right here would, it would be a beautiful display tank in anybody's home. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And... You know, the fact that you have some South American textures right. in there. I mean, you know, this is a, this is a long ways away from where we came from no when doubt. we first started out. You know, it was all about African cichlids. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. We have to change it up. So um, check this out. Keep rolling right here. I want to show you something. I want to turn off some of these lights, and I want you to get a look at this. Yeah, man. This, guys, is coming straight from one of the best hobbyists. On YouTube, this tank is absolutely immaculate. I don't see a spot of algae or anything anywhere. You can tell that my homie IFG loves his fish just by looking at the tank. That is beautiful, beautiful setup. Appreciate it. Let's go look at the other stuff. All right, let's go check it out. All right. Now this tank here, this was, um, I had an unfortunate incident in this aquarium. The fish actually jumped out with um, these lids. Like you can see them in person, like they're really flimsy. So um, if I do pick like a huge fish back in this aquarium, I'm gonna put something on here that's gonna weigh these lids down. I'm actually gonna get rid of this old school light. This old school light was actually on this aquarium. It came with this aquarium. This is gonna be my salt water tank. As you can see, I haven't done anything to it yet, dude. So, but yeah, that's what it's gonna be. We get this chair out of the way. Looks like it's got a sump already built yeah, in, it does. ready to roll. It does. It does. Right down here, so I just have to hook everything up. Nice, nice. IFG is getting salty. Yes, sir. And you can see like all of the plumbing and stuff like that, the bulkheads. All right. So, right, what size is this tank, brother? This one right here is a 150 tall. Okay. Now, nice. IFG, what got you into YouTube? Not so much the hobby, because it's obvious that you have a love of the hobby and you're like, me and everybody else with the fact that you want to do as abs absolutely as much as you can as far as you know creating the best and beautiful tanks and saying hey you know what this is what we got and uh but what got you into youtube specifically well youtube specifically um and you guys have probably have heard me mention this before i started off on youtube just watching videos I didn't really make videos, but I watched video for maybe like a year or so. And I was looking at some of the uh, African Pacific guys, the one who, some of the more relevant channels that were out there, like Blue 9294, um, Jay Wilson was another one. Uh, there was a guy, Big Munoz. Um, what's this other guy's name? And Brian, Brian Dolly V8, a couple of guys like that or whatever. I would watch their channels. And of course, Joey. And, um, I started to find other channels from the comment sections of these channels, okay? So um, my very first aquarium on YouTube was a 90-gallon was a gallon, 90 gallon aquarium, all right? No, I want to say it was a 30-gallon a aquarium with my daughters and whatnot. But then I, after that, I, I got the 90-gallon. So um, I never did show my face on YouTube or anything like that. I always would, like, do the voiceovers or... I would do the music montage, and then finally I started to, after about a year and a half of that, um, I started showing my face, but I would do like the sit in, the, in, the sit in front of the aquarium sort of style videos. Then that kind of just grew boring to me, and I transitioned into the more of like the vlog style, which is what you see me do now. So YouTube started off for me, um, it was just like fun and just something interesting to do. I never knew it was grew up to the capacity that the capacity that it is right now so not just well since the time that you and i have started i mean you have really expanded your biotope as far as your selection of fish Absolutely. go and I, I i gotta tell you man it's 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 really really impressive coming in here 
and looking at looking at the tank, looking at your setups now, the way that they are. And I mean, you know, I mean, you just have some beautiful, beautifully skate tanks here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. These tanks are impressive in person. They really, really are. This camera and this video does not do these tanks justice because they really are phenomenal. They're very, very clean. These are very, very clean tanks right here. And the fish are active. They're healthy. They're moving around. They're curious. They want to come up to the glass when they see a uh, hand go there, which, you know, to me, uh, that's what cichlids do. They, they want to come to the glass. They want to explore. They want to check things out. And they anticipate food. And they know you. They know who you are. Absolutely. They're intelligent. Like here, you see they have the fire mounts and I have the, the tiger severums. And then I also have, like I mentioned to you, the breeding pair of the true fairy cichlids. Now, in this aquarium right over here, um, this is a, a gopher cat. And she gets its name because of its ambush style of hunting. It gulps down its prey. It actually follows, swallows fish whole. This fish can actually um, swallow a fish that's uh, two of these times in size. It's oh, wow. Equipment for that. That's no problem. Um, but this over here, this is the Archer Fish Aquarium. Um, and I also have some rainbows in there. You see the rainbows are here. There's one of the archers over there. And if you look right in that corner, you'll see a whole pack of them just hanging out in the corner over there. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. This is, again, another beautifully skate tank right here. And these plants in here are actually fake plants. They look uh, pretty wow. real. Everybody that looks at this aquarium thinks that these plants are real. I thought they were real until so you just told me that. Nice. Yeah. yeah. But um, let's go and see uh, what we got in the garage. All right. All right. Check it out. All right. Flower horn. A little bit skittish to the light. These are our rice. Beautiful. Wow. What a beauty. Bear bottom. Now, in this aquarium here, it's a Venezuelan jelly cat. This guy is nocturnal, so he may not come out. But if you swing right around over here and get on the landing, you can see that guy's face. Wow. There he is. Again, another monster. You can see the back side of his body. He's just hiding. Wow, another monster. And then right nice. here, right here, Smoogle, this is, I'm setting this up right now. I kind of have the uh, driftwood in here. Um, I don't want it to like just be floating all over the aquarium, so I have it be waterlogged right now. As you can see, um, I have it submerged with two rock, three rock action holding the wood down. Um, so eventually what I'm gonna do is maybe in a week or so, I wanna take these rocks off to see if this wood stays put, stays where it needs to be. Now, over here is the seven foot aquarium. Nice. Wow. That's the Jardini Arowana that you asked about. You see that pipe just take off? Yep. And then over here in this corner right here, any bad noise. And we have a 24 kill beer and peacock bass right here at the bottom. Oh, yeah. So, right here, I'm trying to organically grow green algae from in the end of this background. Um, it's almost there, it's about 25% done. Um, so, typically, what, I, what I'm going to what I'm gonna do is, once this gets to where I want it to be, I'm gonna slide the light over, let that side get grow a little bit, let this side grow, and all the way until I have it from this end to that end to give it that more natural kind of look to it. Now, the brown diatom algae, I don't like so much, but like this green algae, I kind of wanted to get it to go across and then on top of some of the rocks to give it like this natural skin look. But nice. you look looking closer, You'll see there's a few more fish in here. Those guys are kind of just hiding out. Now, how is the behavior inside this tank? I mean, are they all, like, compatible with each other? They're pretty they docile. Fight? They're pretty docile. They don't bother one another. 
Now, how big is this here at one again? That one right there, uh, I believe he gets about 12 inches. That's not like the um, the Asians that get three to four foot and stuff like that. So he's going to be, he's going to double the size. Yeah. Nice. He's going to probably end up a little bit bigger than the biggest pike in here. And right over here, I have two true albino clown knife fish. Now, true albino clown knife fish are really, really hard to come by. If they're not just your typical albino. These are true albino clown knife. I wonder if I can get these guys to come out. Let me see something. True albino. True. Nice. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful. Yeah, this is good stuff right there. Now, what are you going to do with this one? This one. So, this aquarium right here, this is going to be for exotic pleck of fish. Now, earlier, um, I want to say 2017, 20, no, 2018, early 2018, I had a 75-gallon aquarium which I kept exotic for a plethora of fish. Um, this one, I'm going to convert to that. So it's going to be a really cool state. I'm going to have like a box in the wood that are going to kind of, you see how tall these are? That's done on purpose because I want to give it that unique look. It's going to kind of like come out of the water. We're going to just do... A lot of different fancy in this world. Nice. Man, that's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. That is a tour, my tour of IFG, his fish tanks, what he's got going on, one of his local fish stores that I'm very envious of, and IFG. I want to thank you for gracing my channel with your presence. Uh, you know, you've, uh, you've definitely blown up, kept it rolling on, and you, uh, you're you a major contributor to the hobby. A lot of people watch you, a lot of people follow you, a lot of people listen to you, man. I want to thank you for, uh, for contributing to the hobby because that's really what YouTube is all about, is contributing to the hobby and furthering it along. All my subscribers, guys, if you don't know who IFG is, come on, man. Get familiar, man. Go sub this dude up. Hit that sub button. Peace. Promise you this guy will always have some good content for you. My man, thank you, dog. No doubt.